Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and today's little tip trick whatever thing is get yourself one of these little screwdriver dealios. Let's talk about it. All right, this particular one is made by Cobalt, and this is just a simple little small headed screwdriver that the back of it opens up and you get a whole bunch of different sized um, attachments, right? For your regular Phillips, your slotted, and then your Torx bits. These Torx bits are the main thing that I want to talk about here. A lot of times, if you have optics or you have lasers or different things on your gun, a lot of times they get su they're supplied with a little Allen key, right? And I would bet most of you don't know where those Allen keys are right now. A lot of times, those little things get lost. They're cheap. They they're just they're super cheap. So maybe they even break or they wear out or most of the time they're probably lost or in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, or you have a plastic bag that weighs about 10 pounds because it's full of Allen keys from all sorts of designs and things and sizes from all your different stuff, right? I've, I've fallen into each one of those categories at one point in my life. But for me personally, it doesn't really matter so much because I keep this guy with me whenever I go to the range. I keep it in my range bag or in my toolbox or whatever. And when it comes to small screws and little adjustments and things, this guy has been a major, major lifesaver. Like I said, when it comes to um, zeroing like a laser, you find the appropriate Allen key, which 99% of the time, you're gonna be able to find it relatively easy. Well, that one's not it. Let's see, it's probably this one here. There you go. It sticks right in there, and I mean, you could put it in here like this, right? And you could actually adjust. I don't wanna adjust it right now because I lose my zero. But as for lasers, um, optics, a lot of times, if it's depending on the optic, you might be able to get it zeroed, and then you can zero out your turret, right? So in order to do that, you have little Allen keys again on on the actual on the actual uh, turret itself. So you got a little place right here where you can unscrew this a little bit, reset the turret to zero, um, so that you can use your reticle the way you're supposed to, your drop and your all the different stuff, all the different things. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to try to say words and make myself sound smart. Probably because I forgot the words and I'm not really that smart anyway. But in essence, what I'm trying to say is this little tool right here with its little attachments, it doesn't really necessarily matter on the brand, right? But that little tool right there will save you so much of a headache. It will save you so much because not only is it easier to keep track of one tool, right? Because all those little extra little bits and pieces fit in the back. It's a lot easier to use this screwdriver-ish thing than to keep track of that little bitty Allen key that's going to get stuck in a pocket fidget its way down somewhere, fall down through the hole in your pocket, whatever, get lost on the range, get lost in your range bag. Having something like this is a major, major lifesaver to me. Makes my life a lot easier when you go to the range. So that's my little tip and trick for you guys. Get one of those if you have one, if you, or if you don't have one. If you do have one, what kind do you have, right? Do you have a Cobalt? Do you have some random op brand? I don't know, I'd love to know, all right? Y'all be good to be safe. Hope you found that interesting and helpful, and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.